Eurozone political drama has burst back onto the scene into the end of the month with the market contemplating systemic risk associated with the potential rise of anti-EU leadership in Italy and a no-confidence vote in Spain on Friday. All of this has contributed to the latest slide in the euro to fresh 2018 lows into the 115s thus far, which has the single currency trading some 10 big figures off its plus three-year high set earlier this year. Technically, if the euro is going to find some support, it's around current levels that would make sense with the major pair back into the previous breakout zone from 2017 now turn support with what could be a more meaningful longer term bottoming pattern. Certainly from a short term perspective, the rapid decline over the past several days has resulted in some well overextended readings that are begging for a near term bounce to allow for these studies to unwind. Clearly, the political drama will be monitored closely to see if there is any relief, while the market will also need to finally contend with a busy calendar for the first time this week. German retail sales, CPI, and employment and Eurozone confidence readings are all due in the European session, followed by a North American session that features U.S. data in the form of ADP employment, GDP, personal consumption, the advanced good trade balance, and Fed Beige Book, and we also get a Bank of Canada policy decision. Also, be on the lookout for more volatility from end-of-month flow. That's all for now.